Hello, trading is closed on April 1st, 2015. I'm Jeff Tennant. As usual, let's start out with my last call. I was looking for a big drop and that came immediately. During the day, in the afternoon, MJT said ultimately lower price to with print, that that rally was a false move and that that drop was a false move and that prices would retrace and all those calls worked. It also said that this rally in the morning is a false move and gives us a target of 2052.87, most likely to print tomorrow, and that's the call for tomorrow. Let's look at some other things. I'm going to start off by saying I got home from work quite late today and have had very little time to look at the market. There are a number of things supporting the market at the current low. This is a TDST line we've mentioned a number of times. It offered support here, it offered support here. It should break eventually. That doesn't mean it has to break tomorrow. We still have a demark buy signal on the half a day chart. Here's the 13th and final bar of a sequential buy. It's now been joined by the 13th bar of a sequential buy on the 65 minute chart. Notice we have a perfect diamond on stilts pattern. Here's a stilt. Here's a stilt. This is as perfect a diamond as you'll ever see. This is the origin of the left stilt. Usually the origin of the left stilt is support. And the first time it's hit the support holes and the next time it's hit the support falls. Instead of support, we went right through it. It's now resistance. Resistance has been hit so many times. The odds favor us breaking through, but it's not a requirement of the pattern. There's additional support at the low from some Fibonacci stuff. Here's your diamond on stilts. You measure the height of the diamond, set it at 38.2% and that targets the low. There's support there, but there's resistance from Fibonacci patterns too. If you go to this prior uh, leg up, don't do that. Prior leg up, this target is at the 38.2% level. And if you look at the last leg down, it's at the 61.8% level. So you've got resistance here based on Fibonacci and the diamond on stilts pattern. And you have support here, as we said a number of times. Now it's not really negative when you start out low and rally all day long. It's usually positive. But it's not positive when you can't close over these highs. And that negativity would be removed if we were to gap over those highs tomorrow. I think the odds favor, but don't require us trading over those highs because we've hit the resistance so often and so much more than we've hit the support. I think if we are going to break through these highs, that it will reverse and print the target in the 2052 area. If this count is correct, we're looking for purple C down. There's one, two, three, four. I suppose someone's going to find a way to get a truncated fifth wave out of this, but I don't think so. I think it's going lower. I think that this wave four, if that's what it is, looks too similar to this wave two for it to be over. It wouldn't surprise me if we had more consolidation around current prices. So the call for tomorrow 
is we have a MJT target of 2052.87. And based on factors outside the system, it wouldn't surprise me if we took out these highs and then dropped. And it wouldn't surprise me if we closed without a big change on the day. And that is today's call.